outlining the business intelligence career path. So now you know that data is interesting and it's super valuable, but what are the jobs and roles that you can actually fill today? Let's talk about that a little bit because it's a big decision to make. You see, business intelligence isn't just one job. It's not just one role unless you work for a very small business. It can be super segmented and specialized. So the larger the organization that you're in, the larger the team of people you're going to be working with and the more collaboration that happens because everybody will bring a specialized business intelligence role to the table. Let's start breaking down the different types of BI roles available to you. So here we've got the overarching goal of being in BI. And BI basically, right now as it stands in the current workforce, is split right down the middle between BI engineers and BI developers. Now, what are the difference between engineers and developers? Well, developers are the more traditional sense of what you're thinking of. They're the people who connect to data and then make really amazing dashboards. You've seen them before where they've got the pretty pie charts and maybe a line chart showing data trends over time. Maybe there's something like a bar chart. That's what the BI developer does. They take your existing data and they turn it into something beautiful that's easy to, to digest and easy to understand, easy to interact with. That's key. You see, the tools that we're using these days, they not only make these charts, they're not static. They change over time and people can actually click on them filter data out, interact with them, drill down into it. The key there being they can answer their own questions about the data once the BI developer has built out the dashboard for them. Where you see all of these charts and all this interactivity happens, that's called the dashboard. So they'll be interacting with dashboards and ultimately, that empowers the end users to answer their own questions about data, answer their own questions about the business. Now, the BI engineer has a slightly different role. They're not more focused on the presenting of the data or the analysis of the data so much as they're interested in how to organize and collect the data. You see, you have data from all of these different sources here, and it comes in all sorts of different shapes and formats. For instance, here, this may be HR data. Down here, this may be accounting data. Over here, this may be sales data. You get the idea there. And all of this is going to be in different shapes, different sizes, different formats. And it's going to make the BI developer's life a nightmare if he has to try and figure out what all of this data means, how he's going to connect to all of these different sources, and then do his reports. So the BI engineer, they try and do exactly what you're seeing in this diagram. They're trying to import all of the data to one central place and then standardize that data so that it matches and it's clean and it's easy for the BI developer to work with. Now at this point you may be thinking that one of these career paths is clearly harder than the other but it's actually not. They're both equally difficult because they both require a very very specialized skill set whereas one is very analytical on the front end, meaning we have to not only analyze the data and understand what the trends are, but we also have to figure out how we're going to present it to other people. The other one is very analytical on the back end. We have to understand our business rules. We have to understand our data so that we can figure out how to transform it into a common data shape. So really what you have to do is you just have to figure out which one is most interesting to you because both of those are great starting places. You can go into the front end, the BI developer side of things, and then transition into the back end or vice versa. Or if you're in a small to medium sized business, you'll probably be expected to do both. So with that in mind, let's talk a little bit about the job titles themselves. Of course, we have BI developer. That's exactly what we've been talking about. You also may find something like a database administrator or a DBA. That's the type of person who is actually going to be designing that back-end data warehouse that we were showing in the very last slide, that little animation of all the data coming into one place. You'll also find things like SQL Developer, SQL, SQL, that's short structured query language. You'll find things like SQL Developer, that'll be a big one, or SQL Reporter, 
That's another one that goes hand in hand with these dashboards that we're talking about. And lastly, of course, you'll see things like data analyst. That's a very common one and it does just what it sounds like. You're going to be collecting all of the data and then analyzing it to predict the trends. And once you've picked out the career path that you want to go for, then it's time to talk about how you're going to get there. What's the training that you're going to do? We at CBT Nuggets are prepared to give you that training. So stick around for the next video where we talk about what the specific training and certification paths there are for you. I hope this has been informative for you and I'd like to thank you for viewing.